Okay, so if I gave you an equilateral triangle and I told you that uh, there's a circle in which this triangle is inscribed and the radius of the circle let's say is uh, six centimeters and I ask you to find the area of the triangle. How do you think you're going to find that? Okay, so this point right here in the equilateral triangle is all points of concurrency. Okay, that means it's the in center, circum center, median, or I'm sorry, the centroid and ortho center. The fact that it's the centroid means if you were to sketch two of your altitudes for that 36, the uh, equilateral triangle. They will intersect at the centroid, which means if this radius right here is a distance of six, what's the height of that triangle going to be? What is this remaining portion? It's a two to one ratio. So if this is six, this one's going to be half of that, three. So the whole height of our triangle would be nine and we could find the length of our base by doing one of two things. You can either think of this large 30, 60, 90 triangle. In the large 30, 60, 90 triangle, the side opposite 60 degrees is 9. So you can find the side opposite 30 degrees by dividing 9 by root 3. 9 divided by root 3 is equivalent to taking 9 divided by 3 times root 3. And so the, the length of each uh, side or the hypotenuse here is double this or 6 root 3 and that's the length of this base here as well so you would get 6 root 3 as your uh, base and then you can just calculate your overall area half of 6 is 3 3 times 9 is 27 root 3 square units because it's an area so you could find your total area pretty quickly without having to use a calculator just using special properties of 30 60 90 and the properties of the centroid cutting off the median. And now, what if instead of asking that, what if I asked you to find this shaded region? Still the same thing, a radius of six. Now, what would you, you'd have to take this overlapping shapes, take the whole circle, subtract from the circle the triangle, well, what's the area of the circle going to be? Pi r squared, which a radius of 6 gives you 36 pi. And then you'd subtract what we found here, 27 root 3. So your overall area for that shaded region would be given by this expression. Okay, I want you to see what do you think would happen if, oops, rather than having the circle be around the outside of the triangle. What if we had a circle that was inscribed within the triangle that had that radius of 6? What would the area of the triangle be in this case? So using the same pieces of info, what would that area be? We'll have this equilateral triangle. Now if this is a radius of 6, what's the total height going to be? If this portion is 6, this upper portion is going to be double that, 12. So the total height of the whole figure is 18. And now when you look at this side, you can use the same properties of a 30, 60, 90 triangle. Take 18 divided by 3 times root 3 to give you this length double that to give you the length of each side and you have your area is equal to one half the base of 12 root 3 times the height of 18 and you can calculate uh, oops, probably easier 12 2 goes into 18 9 9 times 12 gives you 108 root 3 it's an area so it's measured in two dimensions 
And if I were to ask you to find this shaded region here, you would take the triangle, subtract the circle from it. So you could take 108 root 3 and subtract. Again, it's pi r squared. The radius is still 6. So this would be your calculation for the shaded region if you were asked to find that. 